Now we're going to be raising fractions to higher terms. This is Lesson 6C. And as I always say now, if you've missed or skipped previous videos in this playlist, you might become lost or confused. So you can check the description for links to the previous ones, okay? So we learned in the last video when we reduce a fraction, we divide the numerator and denominator by the same number. When we raise a fraction to higher terms, we multiply the numerator and denominator by the same number. So dividing will reduce, it reduces, and multiplying raises. When we need to find an equal fraction with higher terms, we multiply to find it. If we have one-fifth and it equals some number as a fraction with 15 as a denominator, we don't know the numerator, we ask ourselves, what do we multiply to get that 15? What did we multiply the 5 by to get that 15? A 3. And the numerator gets jealous and wants to be multiplied by the exact same number, so it gets multiplied by a 3, and we get 3 fifteenths. Now this will also work if the numerator is there and the denominator is missing. We can do the same thing, and I'll show you. So it says find an equal fraction with the given denominator. We have 1 6 equals something eighteenths. Well, 6 times 3 is 18, so we need to multiply the numerator by 3, and we get 3 eighteenths. That's an equivalent fraction to 1 6. We have 2 sevenths. We don't know what the numerator is over here, so we ask ourselves, 7 times what is 28? 7 times 4. We multiply the 2 numerator by the same thing, and we get an 8. We get 8 twenty-eighths as an equivalent fraction for 2 sevenths. We have 3 eighths is equal to something 40 eighths. 8 times 5 is 40, so we multiply the 3 times 5 and get 15 and make an equivalent fraction to 3 eighths, 15 40 eighths. And as I said, we can even find an equal fraction with a given numerator, but the denominator is missing. 3 times what is 6? 2. So we multiply the 7 times 2 and get a 14 and make an equivalent fraction. See? 7 eighths is equal to 21 somethings, so 8 needs to be multiplied by 3, just like the 7 was multiplied by 3 to get the 21. We get a 24, okay? This is pretty easy and straightforward, all right? So dividing will reduce. 12 divided by 4 is going to be 3, so we get a smaller number than the 12, see? And multiplying raises it. If we multiply by 4, it's going to make it bigger than the 12. See? So just remember, whether you're reducing or raising, the numerator and denominator get jealous and want to be multiplied or divided if you're reducing by that same number. Okay? Our next video is going to be comparing fractions. It's Lesson 6D, so don't do the skill focus yet. You still need to watch this video before you do. And if you have any trouble, there's going to be links in this description to help you, okay? Watch the grade 4 math video. Make sure you saw the previous videos. If you have difficulty understanding what we just did, watch this video again, okay? There's no big deal about watching a video twice to totally get it, all right? Especially if you've got other stuff going on around the house and people are taking your concentration away from what you're trying to do, all right? Okay, I'll see you next video. Bye.